George here and I'm back with another video and have a huge problem. Uh, remember how I had no Les Paul just a little while ago? Well, now I have two. <sighs> that new Gibson smell. It was all worth it. Please, let me explain. Let me explain. Again, I'm a victim of, of timing, of circumstance. There's a lot of other people to blame here. It's not me. First of all, I want to blame Gibson for returning to form and making actually good guitars again. So Gibson's definitely to blame. Sweetwater for giving me such a great deal on this guitar with 36 month, 0% financing. And this one just checked all the boxes for me. I mean, again, super lightweight. I told you guys in the past in my Lazarus video, if you wanna check that out right up here, I don't like heavy Les Pauls and I was seeing them mostly over nine, sometimes even over 10 pounds. This thing is under nine pounds. I knew if I was gonna get a Gibson Les Paul, it'd have to be special. Couldn't be like a run of a mill, plain top, seen a million times before. I wanted, to, I wanted it to be unique to me. So I chose to get the Lemon Burst color. Not only is it Lemon Burst, it's a AAA top. So it's got one of the most amazing tops I've ever seen on any guitar. It looks like a, a private sock PRS, for God's sakes. You ready? Big reveal. The flames in this are so defined and so tight. It's got this really nice fade from like a dark yellow to this really light. It's just beautiful. And mm, the nitro. <laughs> so I bought this with a few intentions. I really wanted to compare this to the Epiphone Lazarus that I had bought recently. I really love that guitar and I was like, well, if this is how an Epiphone plays, I want to feel what a Gibson feels like. I've played a lot of Les Pauls and I really didn't like a lot of them. Uh, you know, they always kind of felt like heavy and dead and you know, maybe I just wasn't playing the right ones. But this one was one that I handpicked that I knew would be the specs that I wanted. This has a super slim uh, 60s uh, slim taper neck. Uh, the name is, is definitely rings true and I have one on my 335 as well, which I'll one day do a review about. And I've always found that the neck was full of life, made it super easy to play, super easy to move around. So I knew if I got a Gibson, I'd want to try this neck out. I mean, I have a 50s neck on the Lazarus, so I, I figured I have that box checked. Another cool thing is this has Grovers on it. And it, I used to have a Gibson Explorer, and it, this guitar really brings me back to that. Um, not only because of the tuners, but um, also because of the pickups. But we'll talk about that uh, a little later. So visually, this guitar was nearly perfect. It's got this beautiful nitro finish all around. Uh, the mahogany looks great on the back. And they put these little 60s reflector knobs on it. And I think it just goes perfect with the yellow and the way that it fades to kind of like this much lighter shade of yellow. In the middle, it looks really great with those knobs. I mean, all that's left now is the sound. I mean, this is a Gibson, right? This is the real deal. This has to sound like the real deal too.
from a playability standpoint, it feels great. The frets are a little smaller than I'm used to. You know, I'm used to the jumbo frets on some of my other guitars, but uh, it feels nice. Um, the frets are well done, the binding's nice. It's not perfect, a little bit of tooling stuff here and there, but um, overall, overall really, really great. Really, really nice guitar. I know you guys are dying to hear more of it, so let's have a listen. Now, the pickups are the one thing that I didn't know about. I've never heard these in person. These are the 61 uh, Rhythm and Trouble humbuckers, and I was a little apprehensive. I mean, they have Alnico 5 magnets, which means they're hot, they're bright, which for me, I really like a guitar to be lower output. I like to be able to hear the guitar, I like a woody sound, and I was convinced this wouldn't give me that. But let's have a listen. <laughs> I mean, the rosewood they chose for this neck is just it's dark, stunning, um, really like rich, it's not dry at all. They, they, this guitar was really, really well made and that's really evident. I'm shocked because my experiences with Les Pauls were so hit or miss, um, but this feels like a, definitely a step up in quality. So past few years, I definitely have to give it to Gibson. So thank you so much for watching this video. If you liked it, smash that like button down below. And if you haven't subscribed, please do. Helps the channel out a lot. And if you want me to make a video comparing this Gibson Les Paul to the Epiphone Lazarus back there, leave me a comment down below and let me know. I might be working on it as we speak. Till next time, see ya.